everyone uh, welcome back to our apm tutorial series this is the uh, second session in our first session we have discussed about introduction to apm how apm works what are the benefits that we get while using apm for mobile automation and little bit about how mobile testing works with apm in our today session we will uh, try to focus on installation of apm different ways of installing apm in your machine and how we can start the APM, right? And uh, uh, with that, uh, I hope you guys have already watched our first session. If you haven't watched it, we will uh, provide the link in the description uh, section so that you can go and watch it first to have a little bit uh, idea or brief knowledge on APM before uh, starting on installing it on your machine, right? My name is Siddharth Shukla and uh, I have around 11 years of experience into automation. I have worked on API, UI and mobile automation including Jenkins CICD, right? So uh, Lambda Test is helping us to uh, create those tutorial series which will help uh, people to learn more about automation, different tools. So do check out all the uh, series and sessions that Lambda Test is hosting as of now, okay? With that, let's start with our session that is install APM. So APM actually can be installed in two ways. Okay, uh, one way is via NPM that is node package manager and another way is via uh, downloading the APM desktop that is available in our APM website. I am going to show you both the ways. Okay, so you will get an idea that which one is easier for you. You can proceed with that. My personal favorite is the NPM one because uh, we can do it in CLI and it is quite easy to do. Okay, always remember before you try to install APM using NPM, you should make sure that your NPM is already installed in your machine. Okay, so before we uh, start uh, installing APM using NPM, we have to make sure that NPM is installed in our machine, right? So we will check that uh, both node and NPM are installed or not. If it is not installed, then we will learn how we can install APM and APM and node into our machine, right? So I have already mentioned that if node is not installed, then we can use brew to install the same with below command and the command is brew install node. I will show you this one by running it in my command line, okay? Always remember again, npm we are installing using brew but that doesn't mean there is only one way to install uh, npm also okay there are two ways i will show you both the ways one way i have shown you right npm that we will uh, do it using the command line but before jumping into the command line let me just clear it out a bit okay let me just clear everything okay now as i told we are trying to install apm using npm before that, we need to make sure npm and node is installed or not. How to do that? How to do that? Over here, I have shown, right? There are two commands we need to type. Node-v, npm-v. So let's do that, right? npm, node-v. See, command not found because node is not installed yet in my machine. So now what we need to do? We need to install node. How we need to do that? By using brew or by directly installing okay i will show you both the ways let's first try to do it using brew how we can do brew install as i have shown here right brew install node so what this command will do this will basically help you to install node into your machine once it get installed we can use npm again to install the apm right Let's try node hyphen V. See, it's there. NPM hyphen V. It's there. So now node and NPM both are installed in our machine. Next step would be installing APM. Correct. How to install APM now? NPM install hyphen G APM. Right? NPM install hyphen G APM. Correct? So let's try to do this. I will just copy this code from here. Come over here and paste it. Right? see now what it will do it will simply download apm into my machine correct it will download apm into my machine to brief all those things uh, i would suggest to go through this uh, blog also okay it will help you to understand a lot of things how to start apm server how to install apm c npm install hyphen gapm everything i have mentioned over here so once you uh, know that okay your apm is installed 
you should start the server right you need to start the apm server i will show you how to do that but i would also ask you guys to come over here apm.io here it has been mentioned very nicely see easy setup process run a test now brief install node that we have done npm install hyphen gpm to get the apm sometime to get the apm client we need apm install wd let me show you that one also okay npm install wd to get the client right correct looking for funding some deprecated things are there so it's not always mandatory npm install uh, hyphen gapm would do the work but for client you can do this right now how to start your apm simply type apm and okay once you type this one it will help you to start the apm server we have uh, seen that apm has been successfully installed right now what we should do we should try to start apm how we can uh, start our apm a as I have shown in the PPT, right? NPM install hyphen JPM. This part is already done. Now we need to start the APM. How we can start the APM? Simply type APM. See, welcome to APM. APM REST HTTP interface listener started on 4723, right? So our APM has been already started see it's quite easy quick and fast so what we have done just to revise we have used brew brew install node once node is installed we have used npm and we have installed apm once apm is installed we have started the apm now there is one another way right that i have already discussed correct how we can install it another way by using desktop app correct simply download the latest version from apm official website so let's do that. now what we will do we will try to install apm desktop on our machine so initially we have installed uh, APM uh, using NPM and then we have started the APM server also successfully. Now what we will do, we will try to do the APM desktop installation, correct? This will also help you a lot uh, when we will start automating our uh, mobile automation scenarios. At that time uh, you will understand that why having both is a good way, though uh, our normal APM is more than enough, but still this one is also uh, quite important. To have it on your machine okay so how we can do that you can come over here this website right github.com slash apm slash apm desktop slash releases okay you can come over here and you can select the mac there are two things okay remember folks one is your apm for mac right this one also i have shown you and this one is apm desktop correct now let's uh, go and install apm desktop so i would uh, select mac dmg right Okay, it has been downloaded, I guess. We will come over here. See this one, right? TMG. Very simple, right? APM server GUI. Simply you need to drag it and drop it in the application. Correct? It will take some time to install it. So this one is APM desktop. And the normal APM we have already started right here. Can you see? Correct? So now what we are trying to do, we are trying to do the APM installation using APM desktop. I hope by now the installation is already completed. So let's try to open the APM desktop, APM server GUI. Let's open it. See, it has been successfully installed. APM desktop has been successfully installed. So here, there are a couple of things you can see. One is host, one is port. Okay, port is again, we are using 4723. If you have, remember, Mm, uh, here also we have used 4723 right here also we are trying to use 4723 basically default one would be always 4723 for APM okay here you can see there is a edit configuration button if you click on this one you can change couple of Java home or Android home environment variable setup you can do uh, I have already done Java home setup I guess you guys also must have done Java home setup in your local machine if you haven't done it yet then do add those environment variables there is one more tab with advanced here also server port and little bit of more uh, details you can find uh, those things is not much required but during debu uh, debugging i will show you couple of those things which can be used okay 
now uh, our host is uh, uh, 0000 and port is 4723 configuration we don't want to make any change now let's move forward and start the server okay error starting server and this basically happens why because we have also started it over here so let's stop it okay terminate see always remember because many times we do this mistake okay always remember that if it has been already started over there you cannot uh, run it parallelly on the same port right that's why you need to stop it over there and then you can simply use it here also in this screen see if you have noticed it has been started there also there are a couple of buttons here you can stop the server okay you can get the raw uh, logs over here if you click on this one you can simply saw the logs okay see so if you anytime you want to see the logs definitely come over here and use it and this one is inspector okay apm inspector specifically okay we will need it uh, when we move forward with the mobile automation and we will try to automate some uh, mobile scenarios at that time we may need to identify the element right at that time this will come handy i will show you uh, first let's try to stop the server okay apm server stopped successfully now you can close the logs and it will come back to this screen okay now again you can simply start the server right the server is up and running correct so if you want to stop you can simply come over here and stop it if you want to start you can start it from here anyway right and if you want to do it from here what what's the command you are going to use if you want to do it using the terminal you need to use apm and right we have already used that correct apm and so if i want to summarize all the steps there are two ways to install one is your apm desktop which you can do by coming over here correct apm desktop slash release do remember this uh, link okay i would uh, help you with this one rather than this let me put it in this way it would be more easy for you mm, uh, so desktop app right and this one by using npm first you need to install brew if you don't have brew then only you need to install brew then you need to install um, uh, a node and then you need to install apm three steps right once apm is installed you can simply uh, start it from by typing np uh, by typing apm and right it will start the server or else you can simply download the um, apm desktop as i have shown you then you can uh, start and uh, stop it using the apm server gui I know APM server GUI is quite easy and handy. So it's not like any particular one way is mandatory. Any way which you are in comfortable, you can use that, okay? It's not like uh, you have to use a CLI or you have to use GUI. Whichever is convenient for you, you can move uh, forward and use the same. Now it's time for a couple of tips and tricks on APM installation, okay? Uh, from the um, command prompt we have seen how we can start i will also show you this command p kill hyphen 9 hyphen apm this will help you to kill the apm server that you have started from command prompt right command line because in the ui we don't have problem we have button to stop the server here what you can do once you start it so it started now right now if you want to stop it what you can do you can simply use p kill hyphen 9 hyphen f apm it will kill the apm server right so that it won't be a conflict for you while starting it from the gui right so have this command handy there is one more installation i would suggest you and that one is apm doctor apm doctor checks most of the preconditions for apm to run successfully right and in order to install it again we can use npm so npm install hyphen g apm doctor let's do this okay npm install hyphen g apm doctor correct this is quite handy so do install it okay it don't take much time it's very quick and fast see so basically this will help you to do a pre-check okay? kind of health check you can say so it's installed see it's pretty quick right we have installed apm doctor now let's just check this one APM doctor enter see make changes i guess we can provide the password over here it's 
Sí. In the plan. If you can see, was found Node.js library was found, but it has error running XC run, right? Some cartridges were not found. So those are also the Java home is set to this one. So it will show you all the options. Okay. It will show you all the options. How what are missing? Mm, uh, see, for example, Android home environment variable is not set. We are going to do it in our next session, right? When we install uh, the ent entire Android setup for emulator at the time we need it, right? So this is very important. See, it has, it has given us a brief idea that what are the things that we have missed and what are the things that has been already completed. I would suggest Carthage was also a very important one. So we should go and install uh, that one too but not uh, need to be done with the APM installation session, okay? But yes, APM doctor should be part of your APM installation because if you don't install it, it would be difficult for you in future to fix some of the issues, right? Hope you guys uh, able to understand the installation, right? And uh, do try it on your own machine. And uh, if you face any issue or if you get stuck somewhere, do reach out to us or uh, provide your or uh, try to mention your problem in the comment section correct so that i can try to help you out on this but do remember uh, try to install both uh, cli and the apm desktop okay for the if you are trying fresh if you are new to apm then i would definitely suggest to install both okay apm desktop app and cli and with apm right hope this session has helped you guys to complete the installation and we will meet again in our next session where we will deep dive more into installation of android setup and uh, create an emulator from scratch so stay tuned and keep learning hope uh, we have learned uh, the apm installation part and we've already discussed what we are going to do in our next session uh, before i log out uh, just give you a couple of uh, information that apart from apm lambda Test is also providing a lot of uh, um, trainings on different topics like uh, selenium and uh, different topics on cloud automation so do check out their youtube channel right and uh, they are also providing um, resume or the uh, certifications which will also help you to add some additional points into your uh, resume so i would also um, definitely recommend to go and check those certifications um, and before we uh, uh, log out for today just i am giving you one small information that uh, if you want to revise the things that we have discussed either you can watch the video or you can go through this tutorial okay uh, i have already mentioned a lot of things over here uh, related to apm uh, which will help you to uh, have a brief idea on the entire um, installation again and how to start all the steps you can find over here uh, so i would definitely uh, post this link in the description section and before we uh, jump into the next session which will basically on the emulator as i have discussed now do make sure that you have completed the installation uh, because it will help us to uh, do a live practice session also right so, so stay tuned keep learning yeah